degradation. Fluoride was first added to a large-scale water supply in 1945 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. There are many different types of fluoride. There is naturally occurring calcium fluoride found in fruits and vegetables as well as surface water, which is perfectly safe. The fluoride they use for drinking water and toothpaste are the byproducts of the aluminum smelting process or from the cleaning process of phosphate fertilizer plants. These are toxic waste byproducts that are also used as ingredients in rat poison, insecticide, and glue. They use the toxic substance sodium fluoride in our toothpaste, as well as at the dentist. They add the toxic substance fluorosilicic acid to our drinking water. So what does fluoride do besides get rid of the problem of what to do with this toxic waste byproduct? It makes our teeth strong, right? Wrong. There is no real evidence of this. I looked it up to find out. I did find a conspiracy theory that accused the Nazis of adding fluoride to the Jewish water supply to make the Jewish concentration camp prisoners more docile and lethargic. I couldn't find any supporting evidence in this area, but I did find some very concerning issues. Water fluoridation was the topic of a Harvard study that found it was linked to lowering IQ. Another study linked fluoridation to bone cancer. I read a study on WebMD about a correlation between young males developing cancer due to higher levels of fluoride. Elise Basin, DDS, completed the study in 2001 for her doctoral dissertation at Harvard. The study was published in the May issue of Cancer Causes and Control. Dr. Dean Burke called the act of water fluoridation a mass suicide and was quoted as saying, In point of fact, fluoride causes more human cancer death and causes it faster than any other chemical. He was a doctor at the National Cancer Institute for 34 years. One undisputed side effect of fluoridation is fluorosis, a blotchy, calcified buildup on the teeth. It can make the teeth so hard that they become brittle. This can also happen to your bones. The reason fluoride is blamed for causing apathy and lower IQs is because fluoride has been blamed for causing a buildup of calcium over the pineal gland. The pineal gland is thought to be responsible for imagination, for producing melatonin, which is derived from serotonin, and helps us regulate sleep patterns. Some say the pineal gland is the opening to the spiritual world. After learning about these things, I thought I'd try using a toothpaste without fluoride. I had more vivid dreams and my tooth sensitivity went away altogether. So, getting rid of excess toxic waste may be a reason to add fluoride to our water, but uh, are there other reasons? The conspiracy theory about the Nazis' attempt to numb the minds of the Jewish prisoners may not have happened then, but is it happening to the population at large now? The fluoridation of the water supply also plays into the Georgia Guidestones population control model. Fluoridation seems to both solve the problems of the questioning public at the same time as solving the population crisis.